sometimes with these wah handles, after gluing the tang into the handle, the epoxy recedes a little bit, contracts and recedes and goes into the hole. And that's if, the, if there wasn't like a, a little fillet of epoxy here. So this side is mostly okay. This side has, re has receded into the hole and needs to be filled. It's very difficult to fill holes with epoxy. It just doesn't want to go in there. And so the best thing to do to fill a hole is to use some UV curing adhesive like this Loctite AA349. This, this one is a little bit flexible once it's cured. Uh, it's good for the tangs and you can, you can work it in there. You have an unl unlimited amount of time to work it in there and clean it and then you can cure it afterwards. So I'm just gonna take this bottle and the, and the applicator tip and going to very carefully squeeze some in there. And I'm trying to let it go down into the crack. I'm gonna go under under this back too of the of the blade here to fill that in. Fill all the way to the other side. Okay. That's all filled in. And I'm gonna work this in a little bit with this tip of a tip of a clean exacto blade. I'm gonna work that down in there. And try to get the air out. You don't want to poke in and out of the UV adhesive because you can introduce more bubbles. You just want to kind of like agitate it inside there to try to get the air bubbles out. I'm going to fill in some more. Before we cure that, if there's any little strings or anything, and anything that needs to be cleaned up, Clean it up with uh, alcohol. It's a solvent of this. It, it's a solvent of this adhesive, also. Okay, and that looks pretty good and ready to cure. So now, put on the UV curing glasses. Use the UV flashlight here. And I'm just gonna cure that. Make sure your UV adhesive bottle is kind of far away. So just shine it on there. Sometimes it helps if you use a lower power a little bit in the beginning. If it's a deep if it's a deep um, crack space, you don't you don't want to cure it too fast. So, a little bit lower power. Now I can bump up the power. And you'll see the you'll see the adhesive lights up, so you can see where it's been applied. The epoxy lights up too, the same way it fluoresces under the UV light. Now, once you've cured it in the air, you're gonna to need to cure it underwater because this UV adhesive does not cure with, in contact with air. So you have to take the knife, dip it in a bottle of water until that part is underwater and then cure it underwater. So you put the, the head of the LED, the LED, the LED light 
flashlight is waterproof, so you can put it under there and you can cure and you have to do it on both sides or all the way around wherever you put the adhesive. And what this does is going to cure the adhesive on the surface. It's going to be completely dry when it comes out of here. Well, it's going to be wet with water, but the adhesive will be cured on the surface also. Otherwise, there would be some sticky mess of adhesive on the surface, and it would, if you touched it, it would feel sticky and tacky and not be cured. Okay. Now you can use air to blow off the excess. And check to see that it's fully cured by touching it. This is indeed fully cured. So now it's all nicely sealed up in there. And this knife is good to go.